okay because I have a JDM mini and you only find these in Japan that's why it's uh, JDM is Japanese domestic market usually to get behind this dash this is open so I can stick a screwdriver in there and and remove this panel but on this one I'm gonna have to take this whole entire panel off so it starts off with a bolt in here and then I have to start removing all the bolts that are behind that whole panel and that'll be perfect because I can actually tighten this I can see where the bracket is from behind it shouldn't be that loose so I can tighten that up in the process of changing out my face blades I just have to do it the long way all right so I'm gonna remove the dash so I'm gonna remove this first which I can probably loosen now take this out and then this has like a weird angle to it so just grab it turn it it pops out but it's really hard to get that, the right angle I don't have enough light to see where it's at. Let me see. All right. No, nope, can't even see it. But anyways, it rotates. It's stuck on something. So I'll remove that, then remove the carpet, and then remove this little back part and then completely remove the dash there's two bolts that are back there way back there you can't see them because I have the carpet on there but as soon as I get to that part I'll turn it back on see there we go you can see where the notch is I was able to twist it finally I needed to use both hands um, this is my auxiliary fan which is located on the driver's side I have it there just for now I'll probably relocate that later once you have that bolt out, you'll have to remove the cover from here, pull it out. It's really hard to do with one hand. And there's little catches that fall behind the other plate. So when you go to put it in, you line it up, both plates, and then you push it forward. And that's the wiring to my Japanese toll collector thing. You put your credit card in there and you pay your toll. Okay, once you have that down, all you have to do is grab this panel, slide it towards you, and it slides out. So I'll need both hands to, to do it because my radio is attached. But this is it. It's free. You can see that second panel already moving. That's the bracket that I need to get to back there. Right there. Where my tip of my finger is. The wiring harness and the harness and my radio. Okay, with the radio out of the way, uh, these, this is my air conditioning. And then there's my other air conditioning vent. And that is enough that I need to get to right there to remove that front panel. Okay, one of the bolts is one of the bolts is right there, or I should say the screws. And the other one is right there. Talk about tight space. Okay, so what I ended up doing was squeezing, putting a set of pliers behind it, and popping it off. There's my speedometer right there, right there. There's my speedometer. And the part you can see was me removing the back that attaches everything. Um, the pins are numbered. One down here, and it goes all the way up. So 
I know the correct way is with my negative on the top. So this is the way it'll go in. I can't see because the steel was in the way. So here's the back part of it. It's numbered. One, two, three, all the way up to six. So this is the top part. So when I go to put it back inside to my, my cluster, I'll squeeze this, press it in, and it goes this direction, this orientation, with one on the bottom. Starts on the other side the same way, seven, then works the way down, seven, all it through 12. And then the two pieces that I removed that go on my RPMs is right here. But before I put all this together, I may clean some of this up. So I have a whole bunch of, looks like a little rat nest back there and underneath it. So I may move all, see all those cords down there? I may do all that while I'm here. All right, now to change out the actual cluster. Okay. There's the original cluster. That's black. And that's this one I'm gonna change them out to. I haven't opened it up yet, but this is what it looks like. So all this one right here is the one that's gonna go in here, and there's actually two panels. It's gonna be this one here, and there's one underneath here. Our PM one goes right here, and my speedometer one there. So that's the front end of it. So I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna turn it because it's easier for me to work on this way than it is the other way. Okay. So the screws that are come out right here, right here, right here, right there, and right there. That's what holds a cluster together. I'll take those off, then I'll show you where everything goes. This is what it looks like once it's removed. I'll clean all these up. Uh, these just pop up, pop off. They have a little safety clip right there, right here, and there's two on the back side. And it's like that for, for all of them. Like I said, the two clusters that are connected, they'll have to come off all at once. So it'll be this glass and this glass they are connected, or plastic, I should say. This one is not connected. You can see where it's divided there. Once I get it off, I'll clean it up. Pull the other ones off and do the switch. All right, so I got the faceplate off and the needle off. And the needle is a little bit of a pain. And um, when I go to take off the speedometer, I'll show you how I did it. So it'll make it a little bit easier for you. All right, so when you go to put the needle on, you just have to place it on there and then line it up and then just press it in. I'm not going to be able to do it because I need both hands, so just know that you line it up where you want it. So it's ready to loose. Too far. So you start this way because as soon as you start to go up, it's going to rotate. It's already in a locked position. That's can't go any lower than that. So right there. And then you just press it in. But I need both hands to do it so I can't record and, and press. Okay, I got one down. And I got three more to go. So this is the part that I try to get to see. But this goes on the inside. And there have, there's little clamps for all these. So it lines up with the clamps and you can tell because there's a slot right at the very top you can barely see it but there's a slot there down here just on the side so you just push these in until it locks in once you have those ready now you're ready for your cover, but like I said, I need to clean this cover, so I'm not going to put it on yet. One down, and three more plates to go. That's my old one. So the other one's going to be the same process. I'm going to re 
and release the pressure on these little tabs and pull the glass out and there's back here the difference is that those two are connected this is connected okay. so let me do that and then I'm gonna pop out the inserts like this one I'm gonna pop those out too